So everyone today, I had a chance to practice self-love at a high level. I'm so happy with myself. Um, had a situation, and basically speaking, someone was like doing something that I know, and it wasn't a high level or a medium level of love. It was a low level of love, basically not loving at all. It was unconscious, and it wasn't very nice. It was a heavier vibration. And we all do that, everybody, and I... I respect and love the spiritual lesson we all give to each other. We all do various things and we all have different various lessons. But today my lesson was to practice boundaries and to show my self-worth and self-love and my self-deserving level by saying no to not nice behaviour and to give this to mirror back to this person their behaviour by basically being a nuisance or a problem, a nuisance, an inconvenience to them. Because I was like saying, no, I'm not going to accept or put up with this behavior. That's not nice. And at the same time, offering to teach them, show them, reflect back to them their unconscious behavior and habits and patterns from the past that are still happening and still not dealt with, still unhealed. So they offered me, that's what I offered them. They offered me a really beautiful chance to powerfully stand in my shoes and own my self-love and to own what I deserve and to own what I'm worth. And that's beauty, beautiful behavior to me. Love, kindness, generosity, consciousness, care, compassion, sensitivity, attentiveness. Especially if you hurt someone's feelings who's so open to you. And we see this in relationships, everybody. When you're really open to someone close to you, they can hurt you so much easier because your doors are open to them. You're vibrationally, orically open to them. And you can absorb and their energy and feel their energy more and you can get upset by them more. And it's, it's doubly, imp like for example, I was saying to the person, if I got hurt by something like I fell or hurt my leg and I was blood or not blood, I was just sore in pain, or if some other human being hurt me, would, wouldn't you want to be attentive, sensitive, present, loving and compassionate and kind, gentle, tender, warm, affectionate? All these beautiful vibrations to me, if you love me, wouldn't you want to do this to me, nurture, help to heal? And then, what if it was you who did this to me? Wouldn't you then doubly double want to be this healer step into a healer role instead of like you know like looking like uh, instead of just like being like scattered and unfocused and unattentive and unloving and not trying to heal or repair the various mistakes or unconscious patterns that you're still doing from your past so I make this video with the intention to one say I'm proud of myself for stepping into my power and strength and my owning, my owning what I deserve, okay? What I, we all deserve this, everybody. It's not just me, but as a child, as children, as adults, as teenagers, we, 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 when these things happen to us, we're hurt or in pain and somebody abandons us emotionally, this, this teaches us subconsciously and even consciously also that we don't deserve love. We don't deserve to be treated like nicely. Because we see this happening to us over and over again. And we think, well, if they're treating us like this, obviously we must not be worthy or deserving of good treatment and love in its many forms and ways and vibrations. So we get this feeling. And that's why so many people growing up as teenagers and adults, they never learn to love themselves because they haven't been loved growing up. And they think that's what they deserve. They get a... How shall we call it? They get a belief, conscious or subconscious, surface or deep, or both, that they just they don't get the love because they don't deserve it in the first place. And that's why they don't get it. And then this leads us to do self-abandoning acts because we've been abandoned like physically, mentally, emotionally. We've been abandoned. We've been left alone in our moments of hurt and pain. And then we do the same thing. We contribute that. We do it to ourselves then, everybody. We do it to ourselves then. How does this look? It looks like taking alcohol abuse, sex abuse, any damaging behavior, overeating, getting like super obese or sick or fat or eating disorders, low self-image, low self-esteem, anorexia, choose getting into abusive relationships, 
choosing bad things for us like that are negative or damaging like really crappy jobs that make us feel miserable and depressed do get studying stuff that we don't like because we think we're not deserving of hello have a nice day we think we're not like deserving of the joy the true joy that we really love and following our true heart's passion in a job and a career what a beautiful look in here the thailand's like mountainous area going towards seeing the elephants i already saw one a minute ago so amazing i couldn't see i woo far away lifting up like vegetation but i just wanted to make this video because i was so inspired because i hope this helps you to practice self love better and most importantly why you're not so this video is about identifying where you put up with rubbish, where you put up with low or dense or heavy vibrations, and then actions and words from other people, and also your own choices in your own life. Why? What are you waiting for? What could you choose that would be higher for you? What would bring you to the next level, everybody? What would bring you to the next level? Diet, career, job, creativity, passion, hobby, creative expression, uh, friends, family, relationship, various health choices. Hello. <laughs> Cute little tree of them, child too. So it's very important to ask us about our limiting beliefs about ourselves and about life. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. I'm not worthy of this. I'm not able to do that. I can't get that. That's not for me, it's for everybody else, but not for me. Moment to be present, quietly present. Let's take the moment to be quietly present, love, appreciate, open up, open up and let go. Move forward, better energy everybody, more conscious. So everyone, I hope this video really helps you. I love you. I am love. So are you. And it's just the blocks that get in our way. Stand in your power, everyone. Don't be adamant about what you accept in your life. The behavior, especially from other people. Be picky, man. Be picky. Be choosy. Be choosy. It's so important. Someone the other day said to me in a, in a restaurant, you're very picky. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a good thing to be picky, isn't it? <laughs> He's like, hmm, maybe. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Lovely man, bass, Thai guy, young, 24, has his own restaurant, Indian restaurant. <laughs> I'm shifting more towards a fruit-based diet, everyone. More and more, even only. Today I've just had fruit. Actually, wait a minute, I didn't even have any fruit. I had a vegan like chocolate truffle made from coconut milk. Very like liquidy. But anyone, everybody, I hope you have a lovely day. Today is a massive day of your life and I thank my teachers. I thank the people who give me the opportunity to practice a high level of self-love. Without this person, I could not practice this properly. It'd be too easy. This was a big thing and I stood strong and I was loving and compassionate and kind and friendly also, but I was serious and strict and strong and powerful and determined and sure about what I want and what I deserve. And listen, everyone, you don't have to be in any type of relationship with anybody or job or friend or anything. Put up with what you deserve. I have a really nice video. At the end of the video, I'll put it up or maybe in a card here. Stop tolerating what you don't deserve or desire. Stop tolerating it. What will bring you on? What will bring you on to the next level? What will move you up a notch? What will move you forward? So everyone, I'll leave this at this video. I hope you've enjoyed. This is a massive big day of your life. Just remember that every day is so, so important. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. A moment to be present. Conscious. Hello. Take a moment to be present and conscious, to appreciate and to love. Take many moments every day, appreciate this gift of life, your teachers, and 
the fact that you're a humble learner and student and a teacher of others also, from others. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> blessings. Many blessings. Thank you for your time and energy, and I sincerely hope and wish you and your loved ones a good day. Take care, everybody. A beautiful spiritual being on a physical journey. Human being on a spiritual journey. Take care. Lots of love, everybody. Thank you, life. Such a beautiful time to be alive. Thank you, life. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit guides and angels and our family and our body. And thank these beautiful snails. Ah.